This is a really bad intersection. Michael Patton will tell anyone who will listen. Under the red and yellow lights, he sells red watermelons, yellow ones they're, too. They're a favorite to a lot of people, this you know, watermelon connoisseurs, you know. <laughs> just standing here has made Michael a traffic expert. After a long test period, the red light cameras are finally working right outside his shop. You know, those things flash so much, I think it's like a lightning storm at night. This is implemented today. LAPD Commissioner Alan Scobin explained how these are next generation red light cameras. Taking not only high-res photos, but video as well. I see almost an accident occurring right here on a daily basis, all hours of the day. But the cameras alone don't always stop the red light runners. As many as 30% of the vehicles are not properly registered. They might have been sold one or two or three times. So we're not able to determine who the driver is and who the registered owner of the vehicle is. Meaning 30% of the people the cameras catch don't get a ticket because they're too hard to track down. And that leaves people like Michael at risk. This is one of the most dangerous spots I've seen in a long time. No matter how high tech these cameras are, one thing they can't control is the sun. 15 out of 100 tickets look just like this. Blaring sun on the windshield. You can't tell who the driver is. That means no ticket. I'm Dave Malkoff, KCAL 9 News.